Welcome back to the homestead, everyone. Welcome back inside of our kitchen. Look at these gorgeous brown turkey figs that we just picked. And today we're gonna be showing you how to make fig preserves without sugar. So let's go. As always, first step in the process, wash them off. It is the perfect time in the South right now to be picking your figs. Early September, they are ripening like crazy. And once you pick them, you need to do something with them. Eat them fresh, of course, but if you have an abundance of them, you need to preserve them somehow because once off the vine, they really deteriorate fast. We pick them in this stage when there's just a little bit of yellow left at the top. There is some firmness left to the fig, but it is okay for this recipe to pick them in this stage, which they are very, very soft and completely brown and ripe to the top. Here's everything that you're going to need to make your fig preserves. We've got a potato masher, a big wooden spoon, of course, something to cut up the figs, the figs themselves, a lemon, something to can the figs in. We've got these little half pint jars. We have got our sweetener. Actually, we've got some honey and or some agave. We have a little bit of salt because salt enhances flavor. And we've got some spices. Now these are optional. A little cinnamon and a little nutmeg. Really a warm spice helps these figs preserves really pop. It's really tasty. We've got a scale and a stock pot. Now let's talk for a minute why I'm not adding sugar to this recipe. Not only is it not really great for you, refined white sugars, but there's absolutely no need for it because figs have the highest sugar content out of almost any fruit on the planet. A medium fig like this, a medium brown turkey fig, has almost eight grams of sugar. There's been several studies done where figs have come out on the top in terms of their sugar content. I think lychees are second, and then grapes, then mangoes, and then something else below that. Those are the top four, but figs reign at the top. So there's absolutely no need for added extra sugar in this recipe. However, I do add a little bit of honey. That gives it a depth of flavor as well as the lemon and the spices that I'm gonna to add to it. Makes it a more complex flavored jam slash preserve and it is absolutely delicious. So let's take a second and talk about what a jelly, a jam, and a preserve are. This one falls in between a preserve and a jam. A jelly, of course, is just fruit juice, pectin, and sugar, and it has a very gelatinous form. It's very spreadable, but solid. A jam has a lot of crushed fruit in it or fruit pulp, and sometimes it can be fairly thin. It can run a little bit more. It's definitely not as solid as a jelly because it doesn't have that pectin in it to kind of hold it together. A preserve, traditionally, is a whole fruit suspended in a syrup or jelly. Kind of like orange marmalade. Orange marmalade is classified as a preserve. You can see those strips of orange rind in there that are suspended in that jelly. This one falls between, like I said, preserves and a jam. Okay, let's start processing these gorgeous figs. So as always, I'm gonna have the entire recipe for these fig preserves in the description below. And while you're down there, hit that subscribe button and stay with us here on the channel. So the first thing we do is remove the stem and then we want to actually quarter these beautiful figs. That's gonna give a good size for us to start to break down in the pan and still have some fruit left in those preserves. We have all of our pigs quartered and they're going to go right into our stock pot along with a quarter cup of water, if I didn't mention that earlier. We're going to start this on medium high heat, but we're definitely going to back that off not soon after these start breaking down because they are so high in sugar that you don't want them to burn. Wooden spoon. Just start warming, it, warming them up. Now, as you can see when I was cutting them, they do have a lot of liquid on the inside of them if you pick them at those later stages. 
Now it's only going to take just a few minutes to bring that water and juice from the figs up to a boil. We're going to back that off to a little below medium heat and we are going to just give these a quick smash with our potato masher here and start to break down those skins just, just a little bit. Now is the perfect time to add our other ingredients. We've got the juice from a whole lemon, which is roughly between two and a half, three tablespoons, depending on the size of your lemon. So we're gonna add that in. We're gonna add in a pinch of salt, which some people think is kind of weird, but salt is a flavor enhancer, remember. We're not gonna make it salty. We're just gonna give it about two little pinches to enhance all that fig flavor and all the other spices that are gonna go in there. So here's our other sweetener. This is our honey. We're going to add roughly a half a cup, give or take. You can add a little bit more if you like, but we like it at about a half cup. The next ingredients are optional, of course. We love to put a little bit of nutmeg and a little bit of cinnamon in this recipe because it gives it that warmth. These are warm spices, and we think it gives it that extra kick that really sends it over the top. Additionally, you can add the zest from your lemon, which gives it that added additional brightness, that citrusy flavor, which is perfect with these figs. Be careful when adding cinnamon because it's a incredibly powerful spice. Just a little dash like that will go a long way. Now we always do fresh nutmeg instead of pre-ground nutmeg. It keeps its flavor for much longer. Having one of these microplanes is really handy in the kitchen. It's beautiful for doing that and also zesting your lemon. Now this has been simmering for about seven minutes and you're going to want to continue to break these down with your potato masher. Since there's no added extra refined sugar in there, it's gonna take time for this to reduce down and thicken up, probably about 45 minutes. We also do a very similar recipe with our raspberries. So if you haven't seen that video, go check it out up here. So our fig preserves have been cooking and reducing for about 45 minutes. So let's bring you in here to show you exactly what that consistency looks like. Look at that consistency. You can see how it's tightened up and not runny at all. But as soon as we get it off this heat, it's gonna tighten up even more. So this is perfect. Our very last step in the process, of course, is to fill up our jars. Now you wanna do that when your fig preserves are still warm because it's much easier to do that way. You can see the consistency of our preserves and you can see that there are some large pieces of fruit that are still in there. So I'm going to sneak a taste of this before I can it. Oh man, that is unbelievably good and very, very sweet. I have no idea why anybody would add sugar to this recipe. So after you have it canned, you can use your water bath canner to seal the jars. We're not going to do that because this never lasts very long in our house at all. The size of the batches that we make are very small and everybody loves it, so they eat it incredibly fast. We're gonna put ours in the refrigerator because it'll keep in there for about three months. So this goes perfectly on some fresh homemade bread. If you haven't seen our bread videos, I'm gonna link them here at the end for you. And I'll give you a little heads up. We're gonna have a new video coming out on how to make this Amish bread. It is one of the best tasting breads and one of the quickest breads that I've ever done. Have a fantastic day. We love you, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye.